Hello and welcome to our School at Home lesson in English 10. We are in the fourth quarter of our set of lessons. I hope everybody will delight today in learning with lesson number 18. Our topic for today is recommendation on a research report. Read the research carefully. Then in your notebook, write true if the statement is true and false if it is not. Working Students, a Case Study The main objective of this study was to present information about the characteristics of 15 working junior high school students, their homes, family background, job difficulties, and inspirations. The instrument used were the interview guide for students, teachers, parents, and employers. Another instrument was the individual inventory record, which is the compilation of vital information about the students. Study, the ages of the 15 working students range from 15 to 19 years old. They came from grades 8, 9, and 10. The males outnumbered female. The families of the working students lived in small houses or shanties rented from 2,000 pesos to 3,000 pesos. But those who lived with their employers had much better living quarters. To help their parents earn a living and to support their studies were the reason given by students worked as housemaids while the males as skilled workers on factories. The students generally considered their work difficult but they had to endure to help the family survive. Concerning the future plans, they had something in common, continue working and studying. 1. Poverty is not a hindrance to success. One who seeks education could have it in spite of financial difficulties. Number 2. Parents' financial problem does not affect the children to school, especially those who are very desirous and ambitious to continue their studies. Number 3. The difficulties encountered by the working students depend on the nature of their job. Number 4. Having work to earn a living has a positive effect on the student's personal relationship. Five, read the following recommendations given based on the findings of the research and analyze them if it fit to the research findings above by answering true or false. Home economics and work education should develop marketable skills to enable students to engage in gainful activities even while staying at home. More attention and consideration should be given by the teachers and other school personnel to the working students. Scholarship grants should not be based only on academic performance but more on the economic status of the students. Here are the answers. 1. True 2. False 3. True 4. True 5. True We have learned that the conclusion section in a research report sums up the key points of your discussion, the essential features of your design, or the significant outcomes of your investigation. As its function is to round off the story of your project, it should be written to relate directly to the aims of the project as stated in the introduction, indicate the extent to which the aims have been achieved, summarize the key findings, outcomes, or information in your report, acknowledge limitations, and make recommendations for future work where applicable, and highlight the significance or usefulness of your work. Students are often asked to write many academic papers such as essays, reports, reflections, or journals. Previously, only college students were asked to write a research paper or what we called thesis. Nowadays, not only students in college do a research, but also students in junior high school, preferably grade 10, 
and also students in senior high school. Each level have their own deeper type of research paper to do. Now, what is recommendation in a research paper? We often heard that this is after the conclusion in a research paper. Recommendations always address limitations and suggest how they might be overcome in future work. Recommendations urge specific actions to be taken with regard to policy, practice, theory, or subsequent research. They are specific suggestions that you make with regard to further research on the topic. For instance, you can make recommendations on subsequent research that can be conducted, especially if there is an interest in generalizing the findings beyond the study's parameters. You may have identified gaps in the literature that should be addressed and to which your study may or may not have contributed. You may have identified gaps in the literature that should be addressed and to which your study may or may not have contributed. Recommendations should be logical, should flow logically from the conclusions. Relevant, must meet the purpose and the scope as stated in the introduction section. Feasible, must be practical and workable. How are you going to compose recommendation in research report? When you write a recommendation for your research report, have the following into consideration and compose it. Brief. Write concisely. Any reason for recommendation should only be given if necessary. Clear. Do not be ambiguous as to how the suggestion should be implemented. Precise. Vague recommendations usually result from insufficient research or analysis. Remember that recommendation should be based from the conclusion in a research paper and it should be a brief, clear, and precise advice from the analysis you made from the research. Look at the following examples. Let's say that the topic of the research is about the use of the canteen. Remember that recommendation should be based from the conclusion in a research paper and it should be a brief, clear, and precise advice from the analysis you made from the research. Example number one. Conclusion. Price and quality of food. While it was generally agreed that the price was reasonable and the variety wide, more than half of those surveyed felt that the quality of food could be improved upon, particularly in the areas of the taste of the food, size of food portions, and freshness of ingredients. Recommendation Price and Quality of Food to address the problems of size of food portions and freshness of ingredients, the operations department should encourage the canteen vendors to provide larger portions of food to customers. The canteen operators should also be told to use only fresh ingredients in their food. This could help to improve the taste of the food. Canteen operators should also look into improving the quality of their food by making weekly or fortnightly changes to the menus. Example number two, conclusion, competition. Many canteen users, especially staff, were attracted by a new food court at the new neighborhood shopping center opposite the Polytechnic. Canteen takings were also affected by the six newly installed non-carbonated health drinks vending machines located in the canteen. Many staff also found sandwiches from the sandwich bar located outside Lecture Theater 4 of DP, tasty and healthy. Compounding the problem could be that the canteen did not seem to serve enough types of healthy food. Recommendation 
competition. Canteen vendors can also try to add more healthy food and beverage to their menu like vegetable salads, sandwiches, or health drinks. This can help to draw the crowd away from the new vending machines, sandwich bar, and new food court. Example number 3. Conclusion Canteen Operating Hours Respondents, majority of whom were staff, were dissatisfied with the canteen operating hours. They wished the canteen to be opened as early as 8 a.m. to cater to those who wanted to have breakfast or avoid the lunch crowd. Recommendation Canteen Operating Hours The canteen should begin operations at 8 a.m. to cater to staff taking breakfast or early lunch. This new measure could be put on trial for one to two months before getting feedback from both staff and canteen vendors on whether the early starting time needs to be adjusted. Example number four, conclusion. Ambience of the canteen. The ambience of the canteen was not conducive for having meals due to the lack of air conditioning and high noise levels. The music played by the newly installed jukebox worsens the situation as the selection of music turns away the adults. Hence, to improve the canteen, recommendations must address the problems identified in the above areas. Recommendation Ambience of the Canteen To improve the ventilation system in the canteen, fans should be installed. In the long run, plans to fully air-condition the food court can be considered. Students' timetables should be reviewed to allow for staggered lunch hours between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. so as to minimize the crunch during peak hours. This could also help to reduce the noise level during peak hours. The type of music installed in the jukebox machine could be reviewed to ensure that it does not play jarring music that may turn staff off. Do the following activities carefully and honestly. You can pause this video if you will need more time. Press play again when you're finished with the activities and when you're ready to proceed with the lesson. You may write your answers on your notebook. Don't forget to include the module number and activity letter. Letter A. Read the research carefully and answer the questions that follow. Choose the best answer. Write your answers in your notebook. Adopt a child to read. School Intensive Reading Program School Intensive Reading Program is an instructional remedial reading which allows students to work with peers over a period of days. 15 grade 10 students as tutors, while 17 grade 7 struggling readers as tutees with difficulty in reading as well as in comprehension in English, allocating one hour daily after the regular class in the afternoon. A quantitative method of research is used to tabulate and interpret the result of the program. A 180 basic sight words is utilized to determine the words correctly read during the pre-test and post-test. This is very effective and useful to the diverse needs of every respondent. After the conduct of the program, there was a significant difference in the pre-test and post-test. The post-test reading ability and comprehension skills significantly increased.
I hope that you learned a lot about this lesson. See you and goodbye!